Hi, I'm Sander and today I'm going to talk about something that I've been really excited about. What are these things that we're seeing around us more and more often these days? And what's the use of drones in a daily life? And also, is it easy to get one and start flying yourself? We're going to find out those things in this video. So, what are drones? Drones are just unmanned area vehicles or remotely controlled area vehicles, also known as drones in our daily lives. Drones are actually just aircraft without a human being on board. Drones are actually nothing new. They go back to the 19th century when Austrians used the first balloon filled with bombs to, uh, to attack their target. After that, drones went through a vast development through the, World War, through the First World War, obviously when the drones got smaller and they were more attractive and more accessible for more militaries. Um, in addition to that, in uh, 1935, that was the first time when a remote control drone was developed. Obviously making it much more exciting because it started people talking about in the 1960s about actually not sending their, uh, their army or their humans on board to a war zone because it was an easy way to lose a life. And as the drones were developed and they got smaller and smaller, more accessible, higher performance, in the 1980s and 1990s, US Army started buying more and more drones to their fleet. Now they have more than 5,000 drones in their army compared to twice less manned aircrafts which is a massive, obviously, development for drones. In addition to military use, drones have become more and more useful and more and more accessible for everyone, really. So, for example, police use it to, to uh, monitor public places. It's also used by uh, the Red Cross to, for example, deliver goods in areas that are difficult to access. Uh, obviously, journalism has benefited a lot from having access to drones. Obviously, you have a great and super easy to access to places where you can either otherwise very difficult to fly in or they're, or they're dangerous. In addition to drones have become part of our daily lives. There are now, for example, DHL and Amazon who are developing uh, their own uh, drones for delivery or parcel delivery. In addition to that, there's also, for example, United Arab Emirates who will be delivering your documents, uh, your official documents with drones. So you can imagine a drone arriving, you put your fingerprint on it and it will give you your passport, which is super, really, really cool. And that make, makes me really excited about uh, the future of drones. So are drones really difficult to fly? To be honest, no, obviously everything takes practice. For example, I started about two years ago with something called micro drone which is a great way to start and gives you an idea of how to steer or how to use one at all. Um, you, these uh, micro drones actually are quite cheap as well. They go for, I think, from 30 pounds or 50 euros. Um, and it's a great way to start learning how to use drone because it's built using, this, using very similar logic. Um, I think these days one of the most popular, in addition to Parrot and Black Sheep, who are also uh, two of the biggest kind of drone makers uh, or manufacturers is DJI and DJI especially the Phantom 2 which is uh, I think one of the coolest things around at the moment and that's the gadget that I'm most excited about myself. It's very simple to assemble, it pretty much comes as it is, the only thing you have to attach is the propellers uh, again which are just screw on, very simple um, and, uh, and there's nothing else. On the body there's a battery, obviously there's a GPS built in uh, and there's a camera underneath that makes it really cool and the camera is gyro stabilized on three axes so when I do all kinds of movements you see the camera stays in exactly the same location um, and in addition it's got some uh, signal lights underneath to indicate which direction you're flying and also you don't, so you don't lose the sight of your drone everything's controlled uh, by a remote control that also comes with it um, and your mobile phone so what can you do here? You're, there are really two sticks here uh, one on the left um, is so to say throttle with what you can go up and you can go down you can then turn around his own axis to left and to right and also kind of a steering wheel or steering stick which is forward, backward, left and right. In addition to that there's a Wi-Fi extender um, that also connects to your phone so you get the real live feed on your phone from the camera so if I put the camera up now like that you should see you should see, yeah, it's a really, really cool feed. And obviously you can then record, take photos, take videos, see all your flight data, and also get the drone to come back to you. 
The flight time with this uh, drone is uh, 25 minutes with one battery and you can obviously extend that by using external uh, additional batteries. Um, and the range is roughly 1000 feet, uh, which is in meters, that would be like 400 meters, which is still far, far away, obviously making sure that there's nothing obstructing uh, what's around you. So that's what, uh, what, uh, what the drone looks like. And after watching a few YouTube videos, I think three or four videos, we already went out to the forest and tried out ourselves what it, what it is to fly drones. It's very simple, you just turn on the engines by holding the sticks down in the corner. The engines turn on, as you can see, the propellers are on. And the first thing you do, obviously, you go up. And the throttle is actually neutral, so well, let's see, when I go up and let go, it automatically gyro stabilizes the drone to stay in the same place where I left that. So I can pretty much be completely hands off, obviously keep my eyes on the drone. And the first moves you do with the drone is you can move backwards, you can move forwards, you can turn left, and you can turn right. And the drone will follow you, and that's how you actually practice and practice makes perfect, right? As we all know. Especially with drones, making sure all your moves are really smooth and that's how you get these amazing videos that you, we've all seen around the web. So it's super simple, as you can see, just by watching a few videos you'll be up in the air as well and flying. So what is still needed for drones or, or why everyone doesn't have one? I think w drones are pretty much ready to be in everyone's hands at the moment. Obviously there's few things there. One thing is regulatory issues. Regulatory issues in terms of for example, the European Union will have its first regulation down uh, in uh, 2015. At the moment, you just have to follow the rules. You can't fly around the airports. Obviously, it's a forbidden zone. There's a five kilometer radius and there are all kinds of people flying with them. So you never know when there's one above you if they're going to crash or not. So there's issues around that. In addition, there's a price tag, obviously. Drones are becoming more and more cheaper as they're obviously manufacturing more and more drones. But it's still a fairly expensive toy. Uh, and it's toy, that's another thing. There is uh, limited use besides taking photos and videos and just uh, feeling good about yourself flying around with a drone. Uh, so there's uh, still a lot of kind of commercial uses that are due to come out very soon that will make drones more and more useful. One of the most exciting things, in addition to the aerial cinema photography of those beautiful places around you, is the delivery side for me. Think about when you go out and you order some groceries or you order some other, other things uh, from, from an online shop, for example, and you can send your own drone to bring it for you. In this case, I've ordered some shirts from a Estonia shirt maker and I'm going to get them delivered just in here. Only if everything was as simple as that as getting your shirts delivered to your doorstep. But here they are. And it's very easy. I hope that we're going to have more and more of examples like that in the future. I also hope that you really enjoyed the uh, overview of drones and the potential and you're even more excited than I am about the future of drones coming to our lives and making our lives so much easier. Not just uh, giving us a new perspective to the world, but also doing some practical things. But to finish off, um, I've added some clips from Tallinn, the capital of Estonia. Um, I hope you enjoy them. If you like the video, please like it, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hope to see you next time. Thank you.